Just a few people roaming, so we'll see if XDG gets that team coordination in early. And I talked about how the supports are the ones with the option to go for early moves mid by getting up a bunch of wards. Aframu picking up old Season 3 style support start here. Plenty of wards, including a pink for the team. So they will be able to place that one at the beginning of the game and try and take advantage of this Evelyn. I think this is a very wise choice from CLG. As I said, that matchup there with Dexter and Smithy will decide a lot of it. They need to get control of, the, of as much territory as they can as quickly as possible. And this is actually another really good start for CLG because Nian was aware of the ward placement. That was XDG's sole ward that they have. From Sheep, they saw where he placed it. So you can pretty much yep. nullify that amount of vision. CLG can easily work around the fact that they know this ward is placed in the topside bush. Looks like they're just going to slowly play this one out. A lot of invades in our games yesterday, but it does not look like CLG wants to give XDG what they need in this early game. And that's what we were talking about a little bit ago, the momentum. We'll see if that mm -hmm. can happen in the bottom lane. How does the, you know, we know Lucian as a lane bully. But how does he go up against Twitch? Because Twitch is a little bully himself with Expunge in his long range. Yeah, so I think the highlight of this duo lane is the supports. Because Twitch and Lucian both have really good mm -hmm. um, damage that they can deal early. But since Aphromu is on this Alistar with no combat stats, he went all consumables here. Right investing a lot in vision, this XCG team can actually focus the support when usually the duos are always trying to right. focus AD. Even if Sheep goes in on Aphromoo and Aphromoo pulverizes him, as long as they're not too close to the turret, XCG can just focus Aphromoo and kill him instead of actually trying to get around him and go for double lift. Interesting strategy here where CLG are taking simultaneous blue buffs this is a very big win for them. They're going to get a three buff to one buff start. Wow. It is going to cost CLG some farm up top for Nien. But Nien not really known for winning his lanes, right. even when he has a winning matchup. So him going Trundle into Renekton. Oh, yeah, the crowd really <laughs> feeling for Smithy there. Uh, but even with uh, him going up against Renekton, he's, he definitely doesn't really count on winning that lane. So it's okay for him to just wait till that wave pushes up against his turret. He's got blue buff experience and cooldown reduction, so Trundle has no problem sustaining against the Renekton lane, and he shouldn't be hurting too bad. Wow, Nian, knowing that he's going to be a heavy target with the blue, goes back, buys a pink, and puts it down immediately for that Smithy mm -hmm. coming out of the jungle. So staying safe up top, CLG already putting things in place to win the game. This is now XDG's game to come back from from the beginning. We'll have to see where Smithy's first move is then, because uh, he doesn't have a lot of options. He just checked over his red buff is gone. He can hard farm the small camps, but it won't catch him up very quickly. Dexter actually goes past that ward that they knew was there. As I said, they saw XCG place that ward. I, I'm pretty sure Nian communicated it as well, because he pinged it. Yep. Uh, coming up they, as well. He may have just forgot there. Dexter might have forgot about that one. Like Benny sees the pink ward now. He's got his own ward down in that brush, so the safety in the top lane may be cut out for Nian here. But blue should wear off of him before Smithy even tries to get a chance. Benny pushing him into the lane. Yeah, as bully Rip lanes. Will. Pink ward there. That's the danger of buying these really early pink mm -hmm. wards and placing them in spots that are indefensible. A lot of the times, you want your early pink yeah. wards to be in spots that are on your side of the jungle where you can actually fight for them. Pink wards are great at baiting people, this, especially early in the game. Five auto attacks is such a long time to stand in one place. Yeah. If you place them on your side of the jungle, then it's a much higher risk that your opponents will be taking when trying to take it out. Hey dude, when Dragon's down, Baron's really not an option. We see Ward Wars becoming the reason for these fights to happen lately. People trying to just gain vision so they can have the next move in the, in the pieces. It just causes them the bad, bad fight. Coming up on five minutes here, not seeing too much damage from any of the lanes, really. As Zick Smithy has been staying in his own jungle, and Dexter's actually not doing too much counter jungling after the one buff. Yeah, he's actually heading down bottom. Bottom lane focus here for CLG, nothing new. Aframu is level three, so he's got his combo that he can pull. He can go for the headbutt pulverize, but all summoners are available, so they'll probably just be looking to burn summoners here with the gank. Oh no, they Last can actually get the kill! They get it! Oh, Sonic Wave's on! 
still can connect with it if he has the timing there. I don't know if he was able to hit that or a minion, but the Beautiful. first one's gonna come anyways. Afro move starting it off. Yeah. Zuna there can't flash out of it, and they oh. look to go for a dangerous dive. Great ward coming out, but they don't yet. CX Smithy, good safety. A little bit of damage reduction there. Double lift on the shield, and he is perfectly fine. Oh, Nian having a... They're going to have ignited. to go very hard on this one. One last shot. Nian actually does 1v1 All to right. reject it. This is probably the best start that CLG have had. My goodness, Nien wins his lane. Bottom lane, successful gank. This is everything that CLG want. This game is going so well for them. He comes back to lane, is level three, but they don't... Oh, the uh -oh. Sonic Wave just missing. He's left high and dry behind the turret, and Daxter's gonna have he, to run out of this. He draws off the attention, though. So mm. that was fine for CLG. They're pretty happy with this one, and he can actually 1v1 E fairly easily. As soon as... Dex Mitty may have forgot that ward was there. Uh oh, double chain though for Man Cloud. Link looking to keep safe. That satchel pretty much kept him alive. Very nice job. Misses Man the Cloud. Sky hook, though. Level six. Dexter's still waiting for this. Why not? You know where Smithy is. None of the other lanes are having trouble right now. If Link can hold off that Man Cloud damage, Link's now level six, so he's good at oh, mid. The Link's gonna be rolling down dive. now as well. This is gonna be five man participation and bottom! There's the bomb coming in! It's gonna hit one on the outside if they can take down Zuna. Link participates in this one, and it looks like Nien wants just that. The shots from Double Lift, one, two, and it's gonna be enough in the uppercut. Smithy's the last one left, and Afro Moose says, let's go for the kill. Oh, Smithy with the flash, but it's not going to save him. Double lift, one more shot, force the flash, force uh, the barrier. A lot was used, but a lot was gained. So I don't know about force the flash and barrier there. He did use both, though. CLG are crushing this game. I have to say, you guys can finally take Nian off the players to watch list. He is doing so well this time around. He's absolutely crushing it. This teleport in. So well coordinated with the level six from Link as well. They try and get some extra damage here. It just works as zoning, but that's fine. Yep. They're able to single out Sheep, zone off the last two damage dealers, and finish off Zuna under the turret here. Yen will live from the extra auto attack. They Ooh. do end up going in, and Aphromu sacrifices his life here because Smithy got off such a great flash, but is worth it for them in the end because there's a full minion wave there that gets killed by the turret. 50 CS for double lift, 35 for Zuna. CLG absolutely crushing it. This is going crazy. I do not think Nian has ever had 3-0-1 this early in the game. His participation is through the roof right now, and he has made that happen. Usually top lane's left on an island, and that's the reason he doesn't have the kills, but he is definitely putting his foot down this game, especially on the trundle to come out so early. Very well played. 201 for Dexter and all across the board. It's only going to be Alpha Moon with that one death for XDG. So all the high priorities have been on the map, soaking up experience and putting CLG farther in the lead. And this is something new from CLG too. They, they haven't done this before. So worrying about them yep. falling into patterns, not a big deal here. They're doing really, really strong moves. It looks like Dexter though. This is the first thing that will sort of fizzle for them. He cancels his back, so it looks like they don't want to give up on it. There is still a flash on Benny up top. See if Smithy can work anything here. Agony's Embrace is up on that ultimate. No roam down just yet. It looks like Man Cloud wants to rotate, but he may meet Link halfway down. They're going to try to do -si do here by the Wraiths as the bottom fight is coming up uh -oh. a little bit. Misses. Now he's got to run. He's got to be careful how far he goes, though. The entire team of XDG is just on the other side of Dragon. This chase could be a little too deep. Is Sheep Ooh, waiting in the wing? That ward just saved Link's life. He was thinking about going for that, <laughs> but there's a ward for CLG. Oh, Sheep and good block go by Sheep. The That's the thick wall right there. He'll be safe. Oh, the Flash seen it. They go on Benny in the top lane. Didn't hit in the bottom, actually. The chain on to Link. Very nice minefield going down. He's going to stop the fight. And Afro Moon goes Mad Cow in a 3v1. There goes the bomb. They're on a double lift. Barrier and Flasher down. Man Cloud's clone is not going to be the one he wants. And Man Cloud is alive on the backside. Oh, Link now under fire. He gets silent. There's the barrier. That's the blue buff. That's why you take barrier versus the LeBlanc. The expunge. The ticking. The poison. Oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> Pretty good turnaround here for XG. So slow. They get a little bit oh, back. It's the longest fuse ever. Now, keep in mind, yes, XG just got some kills back in this game, but they did not get an objective. They had, they were forced off of Dragon, so those are just a couple kills. Plus, they lost Benny up top. 
So it wasn't as big of a swing as you may think, even though they did get control of bottom lane. And Double Lift will miss out on a few CS. Aphromoo is still there to pick it up. So XTG still have to be pretty worried here, especially Benny. Oh, Tempest Smithy. cripples down immediately. That's a huge Agony's Embrace, even with the amount of health that we saw Nian having. And it looks like they'll be able to finish this one off. The Flash is out of Dexter. He's not holding any wards for himself. Gets the kick, and he gets himself vision with Sonic Wave after to make sure nobody else is in pursuit. All right, Dexter escapes, but Nian did go down. So we'll have to see if uh, they can get some more aggression. Zuna gets the combo. Looks like he goes good invisible on that one. They're able to turn this one around a little bit. Double F finding himself in a sore position there after the Solar Flare. But they walk out of this. It was done so calm. Faded Nobody in. was even afraid in that. Double F now extremely low. They have to call in extra support. They need jungler support right now. Dexter's headed down bottom. Gonna Looks be like they're going to uh, lifesteal off double golems mm -hmm. while they wait for him. Slow push into the turret. Benny's finally going to get this top turret down. The equal out there. Oh, Nian could go quite hard here. Benny doesn't have much Smithy to get his charge up on. Smithy's headed up to help, though. He just has to buy a few more seconds. All right, like that. And leaves all the pink ward. Not quite landing the Q. Dexter with a shot in the dark for the head. And the pulverize going out of sheep. Not going to be enough for him to get out, but they need one more shot. Double him. Going for the dash. He gets himself out. Aphromoo may go down Double once board, again. Oh! Oh, he heals himself, but no, it's a Toxin again. It's going to take him down from the Twitch passive, and they're still going for more on the oh, side no! of the CLG. Mega Inferno Bomb just missing, but it's going to be the chop down onto Mad Cloud. Zuna's now the next one. Another one coming in for double, and wow, oh, CLG is going crazy. Absolute bloodbath down bottom. CLG have control, but they don't have their jungler up. Can't do Dragon, just need some extra turret damage here. Smithy could steal away Dragon if they went for it. So they're calling to get down bottom turret. Looks like they're going to try and actually just zone Smithy. Ziggs is great for early dragon fights. He can minefield up that pathway. Very curious to see. I don't think Smithy will actually go for Ooh, it. Now, the range was too much, but they are able to get uh, sheep here. XCG, by the way, before all this madness happened, XCG were almost tied back in gold. Yeah. They were making such a great comeback. They end up getting uh, the poison kill on Afro move, but Nian with another strong teleport down bottom. He's definitely performing this game, even though he barely gets out of the Mega Inferno Bomb. Nian does not give up on the kill this time. Nope. We saw yesterday. Nope, he wanted every There were a couple he gave up on. He waited until he made sure the bomb missed, then used his flash. Very uh, thoughtful play from Nian. And another thing you mentioned, those teleports. Usually we'll see guys take teleport all the time, but it's really selfish. They'll go back to lane, they'll use it to go back to farm. Nien has used it every time it's up to make an exceptional play for his team. He's 5-1-2 and two right now. Yeah, his CS is suffering, but he's making plays for his team across yeah. the map, and CLG do focus bottom. That's actually amazing. So he's helping out bottom of right now. Exactly. Really, really good. Blue Steel, Dexter has a smite. Oh, oh. Smithy! They're going to find it at some point. XDG great knew steal. they could get under the skin. Smithy has always been known for great smites. He, it looks like his time uh, as an AD carry has not really <laughs> hurt him too much. As far you as remember the weight, go. like riding a bike for some. Smithy now in the turret and mid, so they have good pressure. Nothing Dexter or Link is going to want to engage on. We're now clearing mid lane, 14 minutes in at 9 to 6. It's only 3,000 gold that CLG has grabbed. It seemed like all these fights and bloodbaths have been in favor of CLG as they keep diving. But XDG, they're getting a few kills every time this happens. And CLG hasn't dropped the turrets after each one of these fights. It's been a slow game so far. True. Definitely a lot of kills so far. Definitely a lot of uh, kills. And moving forward, we're going to have to look for a lot of true sight because XDG mm. have double invisible champions. Plus, they have LeBlanc. So they're very much pick oriented. They want to find people in poor positioning. That hurts. They've got not only two invisible champions, but also Leona. So, so many options for XDG to pick people off if CLG gets a little bit sloppy in their rotations. Little things like that, Benny getting kicked off of his back, plus another eight seconds and walking back to your lane. Top tier turret goes down and they just keep losing positioning on the map. Now that opens up top side, red buff, opens up Baron if they want to be able to get to that side of the map and do it. Just, well, it's a few minutes time. Wow, they're doing things real early. We still got time before Baron comes up. Bing. 
Well, let's wait and see. Uh, I think Zeno may be able to finish his Blade of the Ruined King here on this back. Alright, now he's got assassination potential. He can actually even go to Nien's lane. If, if they are running this Twitch uh, looking for an assassination kill, Nien building offensively, he's actually vulnerable to that because there's no turret up top and he's extending extremely far. So he's got to watch out for either of those uh, sort of assassins coming in behind him. Definitely an interesting build, as you mentioned. It. Only seeing Quas really go for damage and attack speed on uh, that trundle. We'll see how Nian fares as they go to take down the bottom turret now. CLG starting to work a little bit more on the structures that XCG has guarding their base. Mid turret's the last one to fall here, but CLG is grabbing all the map pressure they want. And we know them as a team to take absolutely everything before they get to the next one. They're looking for a mid push here, calling for assistance, but Ziggs is such a great wave clear. Doubt they'll be able to get it. Yeah. 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 One pink he knows to walk in the brush. Huge a lot of people just walk by them. Okay, so five-man group here. They don't have Nien. Teleport needs a few more seconds to come off cooldown. If XCG want to make a move, they could have the advantage by going right now, but Teleport is so close to coming up for Nian, they would have had to already make this move. And then do it on double! Double lift puts himself out front. They are safe on that, though. He only has to use Barrier real quick. Or Flash, I should say. We'll see what they can do to get back and abuse that with it down. He's only got his dash left, and they have a lot of ways on Sheep and Man Cloud with LeBlanc and Leona to catch him out. One minute 40 on the Dragon. And we'll see if CLG can put a little bit more damage on this turret. It's going to be hard without double it. So CLG, they are going for the split pusher with their teleport mm -hmm. and the siege up with their Zig Lucian, which is a good call. They want to get the last outer turret. They've got great poke with that composition, and Nian's got great pressure. But it looks like they're going to get face checked here. Oh, Dexter goes in. He can't quite get the kick. They woo, put everything down onto Dexter. He gets himself a little too far into the fight, and they lose two there. Double lift actually oh. just came back to the fight, and that flash being down did cost They overextend, and now they're closing in on Yen here. He doesn't have the ward coverage. Just the miss on the chain. He'll be safe. That is Duke not Man what Cloud. CLG wanted to happen. Have happened, I should say. 50 seconds on the dragon. XDG should be positioned for this. They've already set up some of the wards. Yeah, CLG have to be very careful with these uh, moves that they're trying to pull off from the from the bushes because there's so much invisibility on XDG. They never know who's actually there and who's going to be able to turn around for them. Dexter not being able to get his kickoff overextends a little bit, and now he actually plays for trying pays for trying to make one of those early game plays. Still seeing. Looking at Nien, 139 to 145, so as much as he teleported out of lane, the split push bringing him back up, and he has far surpassed what Benny can provide in the team. Already a level on top of that. Double lift now in his favorite place, farming in the lane. And he's got a pink ward to actually keep him mm -hmm. alerted to any moves up top right now. So he'll probably only farm one more wave and then have to join up with somebody else because they don't have really deep true sight vision. It's pretty much the, the remainder of the next uh, you know, 10 minutes or so is going to be XCG looking for picks over and over and over. I don't think Mancloud expected to get the horns on that one. Right on to Xmithy, forcing the flash there. The Double solar down flare the goes top. down. They didn't even need that to get out. And it looks like they will be completely safe. Yes, well, their, their lives are safe, but their turret is not. They've lost control of the mid-map right now. All CLG had to do, chunk them low enough. Now they're rewarded with an objective. That catch right there, good exchange for CLG. Not only do they get the turret, but as well, Dragon. Unfortunate timing for XDG. They Crazy. actually lose out on that vision. Crazy play coming in. CLG just lost Double Lift and Dexter in their last engagement with 30 seconds on the clock, and XDG wasn't able to formulate anything. They were pushed back once again by CLG, and they get the Dragon. 20 minutes coming into this one now. CLG in the driver's seat. Going to be looking to push more once they clean up these buffs and the rest of their jungle. So when XCG got those two kills, they actually took a lot of damage in return, and they weren't able to get any objective after it. Whereas CLG just had a great timing there by doing enough damage. They were able to get two sources of global gold. So they're, they're, they're so much better at turning in, uh, turning these little advantages 
into that global source of gold than XCG, and that's really the big difference here. They're spending so much time around mid with their dual invisibility, yep. trying to look for anyone to pick off. But uh, CLG are playing very well. They're keeping all four members extremely close to each other the entire duration. Double lift. Loves being up front. Always wants the first bit of CS. He says, mine. Man Cloud is trying to take advantage of that. It's the second time we've seen Man Cloud able to hit a chain on the AD carry when they're all kind of stacked up like that. Now, it has to play a little safer. It is also worth noting that Dexter is going very offensive with Lee Sin. He's not going straight into super tanky utility Lee Sin, just looking for kicks. He actually is looking for the burst damage because he's the one that's going to be revealing the Evelyn in the Twitch. And he needs to be able to kill his target. There it is right there. Easy kill on his target. The damage definitely paying off for him. Yeah, a little too fast for Man Cloud to do anything on that one. No magic coming from him. He does have the Deathfire Grasp, though. He can still provide the damage his team's ne team needs to turn a fight over in their favor. Nian. Patiently waiting with Xmithy on the wings here. We're going to see if it's Benny and Xmithy. Is that what they need to take him down? He's going to start stealing some stats here. They get a good W stun down on him. He's forced to flash, and it will be the minefield save from Link coming in. They're all ready and poised for the fights coming in. Sheep taking some damage here. Dexter decides to go in and safeguard out. And they're just playing with the minds of XDG right now. Taking down second tier. Yeah, XDG trying to relieve pressure on the turret, but it costs Sheep so much HP. Drawn out alt like it's his job all day long. From game to game, Dexter doing safeguards and sonic waves. Zuna just on the mess front with your lines. mind. That's an invisible Zuna on the backside, but he's low on mana, and he's just doing it for the pressure. That shot. One little shot there in the back. Risky little play, but no retaliation from CLG. Those are the types of plays where you don't have to go for it, and you're not really getting anything out of one shot. But it didn't cost them anything. They cannot move anywhere past Wraiths. Dexter's going to be in their face. He always gives XDG something else to think about. The pink wards are still coming out. The warding is still good for XDG, but they're not able to gain that ground. They kind of just get taken out as soon as they ward. Yeah, we've talked about Nien's uh, playmaking with the, with the Teleport and Dexter's playmaking mm -hmm. with the Roaming Lee Sin. But even though Link is 0-1 and one on Ziggs, he brings so much zone control. And we saw right there, he just saved Nien's life simply yeah. by controlling the little pathway through the jungle with all of the AoE that he has. That's what Ziggs really excels at. He can control an entire patch of the map. Even without getting a lot of kills, he's dominating in CS, and he is laying down great cover fire. 90 CS lead coming in from the mid and the AD carries if you combine those two. 202 and 204 for Link and Doublelift. Doing very well for themselves. Got to keep an eye on Nian as well as he keep pushing the bottom lane. Looks like they call Man Cloud down to try and stave off that pressure. I don't know if it's going to be enough though. Well, I like the call from XCG. They're using their AP to go towards this Trundle who only has mm. uh, armor right now. So it's they're trying to use this itemization against him. They don't want Benny going up against that anymore because uh, he would not have a very good chance going against Trundle right now. So they do make a slight switch right there. Good news for XDG. They've got a lot of money on Zuna. So the Twitch is the one that they want to be extremely uh, powerful right now. He's got a lot of the kills, and he's working towards getting some high-powered crits. That last mid would have been a great initiation for XDG, it seemed. The teleport's there from the end, but Doublelift was in the top lane. XDG just kind of playing on their heels, waiting for the CLG mistake. And I don't think they're going to find it right now as they walk around power in numbers. It's, it's, they can make those errors and still come out on top. I think that CLG really, or uh, XDG really need to hover around this blue side because they've got a lot of good coverage there. That's where they have their pink wards. That's where they have their vision advantage. So that's why they're really trying to stick to this side of the map and try and find somebody from CLG. They need, they need a pick to get um, right back in this game and turn it into something like, like Dragon, 45 right. seconds. If they find somebody in the near future here, that would be a good turnaround for them because Dragon gives so much bonus experience yeah. when you're behind. Uh-oh. We saw TSM yesterday using... Teleport in! Teleporting in from the back. They're looking for the flank from the end. It's going to be really deep. Oh Do not my god, holy. that's terrible for XCG. Take so much damage, the barrier has to be used. He is down on everything he has. Aphromoo is looking right for him. Oh. And he throws his 
Oh. Gets it down at the bent feet. x Smithy trying to get out on the right side. The team piles in together, and Doublelift is just going to start shredding from the back line. Link is loving this too with the AoE damage, and CLG comes out on top with another great teleport from Oh, Neander man, the top that lane. was painful. Aphromoo just smashes Zuna's face into the ground. Huge win for CLG. They also got the tank as well, so now making the call, going for the Baron. This is a pretty good call because CLG have Lee Sin to execute at Baron. The smite steal, even if, if Smithy came in, it would be very, very hard for him. He's all the way on bottom lane, so it's not even a chance. This is a great Baron for CLG. Tough news for XTG there. They got the teleport in around behind them, so not really an, an escape path. And Zuna took so much damage at the beginning of this. Look at the bombs into culling straight on to Zuna, and he has nothing left to do in this fight except for run for his life. If Zuna hadn't died in this fight, the way oh, CLG Afro positions in this would have been perfect for Spray and Prey. It would have been if they had a Spray if and they Prey. Had yeah. Zuna left. <laughs> but it was just a great start there from uh, CLG. Link and Double Lift getting so much yep. damage down onto Zuna. And Aphromu with the very long charge there, flash into headbutt. Getting a little angry. Well, securing that kill for himself. Definitely didn't want to go with just the assist participation in this game. Uplift to 2, 2, and 7 as well. Everybody doing quite well. We're not going to go across the list, but we do look at that gold. 47.7 to 39.1. CLG has taken a dominant lead, and they are going to continue sweeping everything off the map as they do. All right, Baron buff, pretty easy call. They have Ziggs. It's great for sieging up. They have Lucian. Front line is actually amazing with Afro Mu being able to just use his ulti. He's got flat health there. He's going to have uh, even more HP to make use of that ulti duration. They have uh, Dexter for kickbacks. Man, this is, a, this is looking so CLG heavy right now. It's going to be hard for XCG to, to weather this storm. But... You know, they're going to try and make use of the Twitch inside their base. Twitch inside his base is always one of the best places for him because CLG have to funnel in through that little entrance to get at the inhibitor turret. If Zuna can get off a good spray and play while they're locked up by Solar Flare from Sheep, they can turn this one around. Even though 10k gold, hard to come back from, 10k gold doesn't mean Ooh. anything if you get your squishies killed. Let's see where the Smithy is going. Slowly making his way around, trying to anticipate. Uh, anticipate the no, I guess white not. cash money. I was trying. I was gonna say CLG, see if their behavior changes, but no, he's just going to farm. I guess not. Dexter getting hit up a little bit. Double lift, a able to get all those Trinity Force shots in. All right, he needs it. He's in position. Oh no! Solar Flare whips. This is terrible. Whips they should it. not go for this. See him immediately. Xmithy's on the outside. Dexter going for the long kick on that one. Aphromoo puts on the ultimate, and they go past the turret as it goes down. And they are going to keep going on this one. He knows which one it is. Instantly going for the non-clone. Man Cloud goes down, and the Nexus turrets look to follow. 28 minutes into this one, just sub 30, a 14 to 9 kill score 51,000 gold to 40 CLG is making quick work of the base yeah they have complete control right now the only question is are they gonna actually try and end it it looks they've it. got 10 seconds for Zuna here see Nien has that damage on him as well if you can throw down the waste or throw down yeah five attack seconds. speed they movement speed got it. they are going to take this one right in front of XDG eyes wide open CLG playing another methodical and strategic game of League of Legends yeah. to bring out the win Stepped up huge that game.